We are live at the edge of 228 Young Street, and as the Olympic torch makes its way towards Nathan Phillips Square, we are doing our own Olympic celebration here because he was a gold medalist in 2008 with the U.S. Olympic team, but he's number one in our hearts and number four in the program. Please welcome to the edge of 228 Young, Chris Bosch of the Raptors. You're kind of the, you're holding the mantle as the senior sports star of the city. Am I? Uh, yeah, well, I just, tell, tell me somebody in the Leafs who's got a bigger profile than you right now. There ain't anybody. Uh, uh, it's, it's not just for a city, but how much do you feel that you're also, you're also repping the whole country? And do you feel that? Do you understand the love that extends from sea to signing sea, as we say in our anthem? Yeah, I think so. You know, we've been to uh, other parts of the country and... And people know me there just like they know me here. And it's really strange for me. It's like, wow, you know. So I'm like, Chris, I'm like, oh, what? You know, how do you know me? You know, but uh, I just have to remember that they do broadcast our games all over the place. And this is the only team, basketball team in, in Canada. So, uh, you know, it's just something that you have to be reminded of every now and then. Let's turn the clock back to uh, your first year here. What did you know about Toronto or Canada? And w did you know, like, the hockey environment you were walking in? How much of a culture shock was it? It was a huge culture shock for me. You know, um, it, it, you know, it's, it's so culturally diverse here. And, and that's, that's a huge, that was a huge shock for me right off the bat. You know, I was 19, you know, I have an apartment. I'm like, you know, what am I going to do? I'm playing with all these grown men. I'm trying to find my role in the team. And I don't know where to hang out in the city. You know, it was just so many things that I had to get used to. But, you know, after a while, I, I did get used to it. And, and people people have really uh, shown me a lot of love while I've been here, and they've, uh, they've accepted me. If you thought that people in Toronto loved you for your talents on the court and across this country beforehand and, you know, want you to stay here forever, when people see this DVD and get to see you, the person, and know you, I'm telling you, my friend, there's no way you're leaving this country. This is one of the most open and sharing uh, things I've ever seen with a professional athlete sharing his thoughts and his fun side and his friends. It's it's a really great watch. And for any basketball or sports fan, it's going to make a great watch. Well, yeah, you know what? Um, that's what, what we wanted to do. We wanted to, um, I, well, I wanted to do something that was a little different and, and just kind of do the things that I wanted to see when I was a kid. You know, I remember when I was a kid, I used to watch Inside Stuff, and I'd be like, man, you know, that's that's uh, such and such. That's Lamar Odom, and he's a rookie, and, and he's behind the scenes every day. And then it would only be like five minutes, you know, and, and I just kind of – I put myself back. I, I, I took those feelings from when I was a kid, and I was like, man, what do I want to see? And it was kind of cool having my friends around and guys working with me who are fans of the NBA and stuff like that. They helped me keep that – perception kind of fresh and just be like okay yo let's talk about this or let's do this and 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 just keep it different from what we usually see this is a real story and um it's so many other other elements that came along as we were doing it that i don't think we could have scripted that's the best part about it that's that's what makes this film unique is because all these other stories just start coming along and it's like oh wait a minute well man we did this interview like this but look what happened and I think people are really going to like it. So I hope I hope, I hope, hope everybody takes a hold to it. Absolutely. Chris Boss joining us here. It is called First Ink. Now, there's a couple interesting aspects to it. There's the whole you getting your first tattoo, which is mm -hmm. which is hilarious because it, it's the whole first part of it. And it, you guys state it. It's like you're buying a painting and you're not sure which one. Or yeah. or, or it is an art. You, you, you take it into that whole realm of art. Yeah. Your back just happens to be the canvas. That's, exactly. That's very interesting. Yes, exactly. I mean, you know, just, just having that funny feeling like right before it was like man is this really gonna happen like i know i helped design it and this is my idea but i don't know like this is it gonna hurt what's gonna happen it's so, it was so many different things running through my mind i was like man am i making the right decision well i have to make this right decision because you know we're too far in the budget so let's just keep going and, and it's and, nice that you know you didn't get like you didn't end up selling it to golden palace like the boxers do the, you know. <laughs> but uh yeah. the other aspect of it is is this regiment that you went on to get yourself bigger and stronger uh -huh. to because to, your body, like like all of us, I think one of the big things that we don't understand is when we see these giants of the NBA or any athletes. Not to use this cliche, but you were the boy inside the man, and yeah. your and the boy and the body were starting to merge at this age in your life, and you realized it was time for you to do what you had to do to continue to compete and grow with the competition. Well, yeah, exactly. I knew uh, I knew that my regimen had to change, and that that was one of the elements that just came along in the story. You know, I, I remember. I don't even think we were thinking about putting stuff like that in there, but 
uh, my friend came and watched me work out. He was like, this is crazy. Like, are you seriously doing this every day? It's only June. Yeah. Like, the season's still going. I was like, yeah, you know, I, I wanted to do different things. And, and I just really learned the value of hard work. And, and I mean, just, just that whole whole instance, like, really changed me and changed my perception about how things are supposed to go and how things need to go to take care of your body. On behalf of everyone in the city, uh, let's just say, however the the dice gets rolled, I'm hoping we're doing this again next year and on the next Appreciate release. It. Appreciate it. Chris Bosh, sports fans. Chris Bosh. Thanks a lot.